Our woodlands are at a critical moment in time. Many experts would say a tipping point. At 13% cover, the UK is one of the least forested countries in Europe. Our trees are only able to absorb about 5% of the greenhouse gases we produce. And on top of that, tree planting rates in this country are half what they were in the 1970s. Climate change and drought are weakening species that have previously thrived in this country. Pests and pathogens are killing many of our native species. Ash dieback alone will kill 90% of the ash trees that grow in this country over the next decade. Acute oak decline, processionary moth, will devastate our native oak trees. I watch all of this with a rising sense of panic. On the upside, however, politicians are finally being forced to take environmental issues seriously. We're promised a huge tree planting campaign to combat the causes of climate change. We're also promised a new land use policy that will reward public good rather than just land ownership. And we collectively, we're waking up to the, the, the impact, the carbon impact of the way we live, the way we eat, the way we travel. This is a time of great danger and great opportunity for our woodlands and ultimately for us. We have really just one chance to get this right. If we get it wrong, then our woodlands will continue to decline in size and in quality. But if we pull together and we take advantage of this, this political moment, this political will, I believe that we can set in motion the greatest period of afforestation and woodland regeneration that this country has ever seen. My name is Tom Barnes. I've been working with wood and in woodlands for all of my life, as have three previous generations of my family. And I really hope that the next three generations can carry on. I believe passionately that woodlands are hugely important to us. Not least their ability to sequester carbon, to absorb carbon from the atmosphere. Their ability to move water across whole continents and the fact that they host a huge array of biodiversity. At the same time, I truly believe that, that wood from these trees offers us one of the best building materials for a low carbon future. Wood not only locks up the carbon that the tree has absorbed, it also offsets the need for us to use other materials, other carbon intensive materials, such as concrete and such as steel, that are responsible for such a huge amount of the carbon emissions that we're producing. If the woodland is managed properly, wood presents, I think, one of the few truly sustainable building products we have. Added to that, wood looks good and wood makes us feel good. Why are we doing this? Well, in 2020, I believe we have a golden opportunity to change the course of events. Climate change, the climate emergency, is the next big thing on the political agenda. And at the end of next year, the UK, Scotland, hosts the 26th UN Climate Change Summit. And politicians are going to be looking for actions to demonstrate their commitment. If we in the UK have any chance of reaching net zero by 2050, we will have to at least triple the rates of tree planting in this country. It is very likely that the government of 2020 will respond to this pressure by instigating a large tree planting campaign of millions of trees and tens of thousands of hectares. If done sensitively and fairly, large-scale afforestation and woodland regeneration could have many social and environmental benefits. However, if done badly, it could put us off tree planting for another 40 years with catastrophic effects. However, 
and unfortunately there is um, a hugely polarized debate flaring up between uh, different groups that have different visions for the future of our forests and for our landscape more widely. Whether it's between commercial forestry and rewilding, between plantations and natural woodlands, but broadly speaking we all want the same thing and that is more trees. Over the next 12 months, my team and I are going to make a series of short films. We're going to track down experts and we're going to record their insights, their thoughts and their ideas on the future of forests and what we do with them. To help me on this project, I have Charlie Lamarchant. She's an activist and a filmmaker. Thanks, Tom. I'm really looking forward to this series of films. We're going to be travelling around Britain, meeting all sorts of people. I'm interested in this, not only because I'm a filmmaker, but also because I'm a tree planter. I've been planting trees for the last 10 years. I've been planting forest gardens. Um, I run community tree planting events in urban areas. And we're going to be talking to all sorts of people. We're going to be talking to um, foresters, conservationists. We're going to be meeting rewilding um, experts. Yeah, and uh, we'll track down some um, timber producers. Um, I want to talk to architects, the people that, that use wood in the urban environment. I want to speak to urban designers. Uh, you know, and really, I suppose anyone else we can find along yeah. the way who can who hold the hold the pieces to the puzzle, who yeah. have the knowledge that we that we need. Uh, and I think uh, you know it's going to be a fantastic journey. And I hope that you will follow us on this journey. It's a learning journey. Uh, I hope you'll learn with us. And at the end of it, we hope to have a, a great film um, that we can show leading up to the UN Climate Change Summit in Scotland at the end of next year.